Hello, my YouTubers. How are you out there? I have a new video today about the Ford Transit Connect, and it is related about 303 code PO303, and that's uh, related as um, misfiring the, the third cylinder. The cylinder number three is misfiring, uh, but it doesn't mean it's really a misfiring. It could be a different issue, so we're going to start diagnosing the problem. First, I'm going to put the machine so you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna put the switch on and then we're gonna put the, the machine in to see what comes up with. But this problem will solve, uh, I'm gonna show you step by step how to solve these problems and not a big deal. Um, this is a, again, 2010 Ford Transit Connect. This problem is in all the cars, like pretty much the same, same problem. Same problem, same uh, procedure, so, okay. So as you see, it's PO303, it says mis uh, cylinder three misfiring detected. That doesn't mean that it's really a misfiring. It's, it could be different issues. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna open the, the hood, okay? So we're gonna open the hood and uh, for well, this car, as you see, you, we have to put the, the key on and then um, lift it. Okay, so let's see. Okay, got it. Alrighty. So we're gonna put this thing here. And okay, I'm gonna explain something. I already did a research what's going on. So um, the best and easy way to check if, if you have a, A misfiring connections it's uh, switching the uh, switching the either the plugs you can change the plugs or you can um, open and um, and switch the the what is this the and like I said, uh, you can switch either the expired plugs or can you, you can switch over, like let's say, in my case, this is the, the, the problem, right? And it's doing nothing. But you can change the number two to number three to see if the code jumps to number two. I already did it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, do anything. So it's weird. So, that means this is getting uh, bolts and I already test with my uh, bolt, uh, bolt, bolt meter. So it is having power. So what could be the issue? So I noticed that you do have 12 volts also on the plug. So that means it's a receiving signal. So then in this case, it's not the, the, um, the misfiring problem. It's the, it's the injector problem. So we're going to uh, replace the injector right now, this. Since I'm, I open, I'm gonna replace all four if it's possible. So all we have to do is we have to remove this this bolt and this one here, and uh, and we're going to pull it out. But first we're going to uh, put the, the the engine on, and if you want you can um, pull the the fuse, and it will shut by itself and you, it will rain uh, drain the the gas. But in my case I'm just going to shut it down and then I'm going to put the something to, to seal the, the gas, and then we're just gonna sw swap it off quickly, as this is not a big deal, so let's see what's going on, okay? I think I have a, a position, good position for you to take a look. So I use this bolt here. When we release this, uh, this pad right here, as you see right here, it's plugged, it will come, um, gasoline okay so you gotta make sure that we just find a way to 
to cover this or put uh, something so it can drain. So, uh, but first of all, I'm going to remove these things here. I already lost them up. Okay, I'm going to see if I can wear some gloves. I can use the drill too, but I don't have the bead for the. Okay, look at this, and then this will kind of same thing. All right, it's easy. Okay, it's, it should be easy. If you can, you can do it like a, a day before or a few hours before. What you can do is you can um, uh, put some um, W40 around it just to make sure that all. The, it's not uh all the, the bolts are not stuck now you're going to unplug one by one so this is cylinder number one you press this little leg here look you press this one here and it will come out same thing you see this press and it will come out okay the same way it comes out the same way you will go back okay and then Cylinder number four. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Now you can loosen up this one here too. So that you get better access. Alright. You can do this one too. So and this one. Just so you can uh, be a little more you have a little more space when you move the track like you see this one here now we have these little clips here as you see here this one here this one right in the back so you're going to use like a, a flat screwdriver and you're just going to push them to the back just like that let me show you here okay if you see there you go if you see you're able to to move them up okay now we're just gonna see if we can Plug nice and easy with this. But something to clean here. Maybe we, we don't even have to remove this uh, this track, okay? Let me see, I'm just gonna release. If you see it right here, I mean, let me see if I can show you here. Right here in the back, okay? Right here. We have a joint so we can unplug there and receive the gas right there, okay? So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so then what we're going to do here is we're going to find a way because this is flexible. clip here okay 
if you see the little thing here, they could come out. Okay, when you're ready. And then, what you will do here is, we put something to, to get the, the gas on there. So, let me see if I can screw this thing here. I mean, I should have something better than this. careful with all the hoses and everything so that you don't want to break nothing okay so here look so now since you remove the clip you're able to pull it out okay So what you do is just what you have to look here. There it is. You can just unplug it now, look. I'm sorry if I make a mess here. Look. See? That's what I'm saying. You guys will come in here. But now, this is, this is empty, we can work. Another thing, like I said, you can un uh, remove the. You can remove the fuse, and it will shut itself, consuming all the gas. All right, let's see now. Let's go back to our position. All right, so we have this open. Okay. And then let's see how oh, this one's supposed to this, this is supposed to come out. Okay. Okay. Now let me just pull it out. It will drain a little bit of gas, but it doesn't have much because obviously we already so then we we'll light it to the sides okay and that's how it looks like the track the track has to be put it the same way it came out Mm-hmm. 
now See, you go to like push a little bit, but just be careful, make sure you save these things. Okay. So this, basically this was the one with the problem. And I think it is damaged. I'm not sure this is the one that was having a problem. Okay, so I'll show you what I have now. Guys, I'm not really good at making videos, but I hope you understand me. But uh, I'm just trying to show you because sometimes we need some ideas to see what's going on. And uh, so these are the new ones. Okay. These are the other ones. Okay, make sure you order before you start this. You order. And you need to have it ready for. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clean these areas. I guess you see a lot of trash. Making sure we don't send any of this inside. Okay, the most important thing is the hole making sure that we don't set any trash okay all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little bit of, gr of grease so we can slide them in so it will damage the the this ring right here see this little ring when you push it in you don't have to so you don't squat scratch or nothing like that i'm going to put a little bit of a grease using any kind of grease like I'm using this one right now so uh, I'll use this just as long as we can put it here on the ring tiny bit it doesn't have to be a lot okay it has to be just a little bit okay in the front okay good so now you're just going to do the same thing slide it in okay just make sure it's in It looks like skin, but I'm just trying to make sure that it's... Because <laughs> we don't want to have any leaks. Okay, it doesn't come out, so it's good. All right. Same thing with this. We're going to pull it out, because since I'm opening this, I want to change all of them. Same thing, you just pull. Okay. You see what I said? This is the tip that I was saying. Since this is totally dry, uh, they get scratched. You see that the ring, this is the, is the seal ring. So they get scratched. Something it could happen when you push them in. That's why I'm, I recommend to put some, uh, some grease. 
see this is broken right now, so the same thing with the other one will happen. So I'll keep putting the new one. I don't see any trash in here so far. I don't want to touch anymore because I don't want to remove any debris that are around it causing a clog. So same thing. This okay. Okay, same thing with this. Okay. Just so we keep them nice and steady, okay? All right. Same thing. I'm going to go in and it's nice and easy without, without cracking. It doesn't want to go in. It doesn't want to go in. I think it needs more. We don't want to pressure too much. I think some a lot of gravity is there, so I'm going to clean. Okay, so I don't wanna, I think we could have garbage in there, but you don't wanna send this through the hole, okay? Uh, maybe it's because, because with the time it get rusty and everything. Okay. See now. Now we go in. Okay, so now just to make sure I'm gonna put some right here too. We don't wanna put too much, just just on the sides a little bit. Okay. So let's see what happens. Okay. does not want to go inside so just don't force it too much okay just don't force it. just keep cleaning if you have to clean really good okay because as soon as you you damage the ring then you'll be in trouble What I'm gonna do is just make sure that it's clean. Yeah, nice. It feels like you go inside quick. Now you try to pull it out, it doesn't come out, so which is good. So that's what we have to do. The next one too, just make sure you clean it, okay? Clean nice. Probably these are these are originals, and believe it or not, this this truck has over two hundred thousand miles on it, but it's running good. And the only thing is, 
that um, starts misplying, you know. There you go. All of them will stack, see? And then clean, same thing as they did. Also, what you can do is maybe you can uh, spray a little bit of W40 if you want. W40 also will clean any debris that is there, but you don't have to put too much. Just a little bit just to clean. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time putting the back, I mean, turning on the car. Okay, nice. Now we're gonna push it. Still giving a little trouble.
feels like you want to go in and at the same time get stuck. this and I'm going to tap it off there you go they got inside Make sure that it's all the way in, okay? Because you want to have a, you don't want to have leaks or well, it's going to be an issue. See if you, if you don't put that the right way. Okay, so we took a time, but uh, as long as it's, it's correct, that's main thing. Okay, good. Not that this wasn't too bad. And also what you can do is you can, uh, like I said, a day before or something, spray some uh, W40 around so you don't have the same issues as me. And you want to go, like, clean this in a round circles, okay? You don't want to scratch nothing, so, so that way you don't get any leaks. Let's clean it around. Okay, nice. You got inside already, try. Okay, good. And so, in this case, what we're going to do here you see we open these areas you're gonna have to push this this little here these little tails push a little bit and then push this one too okay so they gotta look like that just like inside and then you're gonna have to put this one against this here is a little gap in here. Okay. Let's see, here's a little gap, and then you just clamp in here. So you can turn this around.
There you go. See, it goes in and then just spin around and leave it like that, okay? It's the same thing with the other ones. Because you see this one is open. Now you push again this one here. Get this one here on the gap and the push the set. Okay. Number two. We're going for number three. So you do that until you finish.
Okay, so we have everything back in. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and test to see what happened, okay? We might have to reset the, the check engine light or maybe it was, it's gonna go away by itself. But I'm gonna see after everything's connected, we just make sure that nothing is disconnected like you see here. Look how this one was hiding right here. I don't know if you can see it here. Look, I was missing one, so. Before you do anything, just gotta make sure that you have everything reconnected, okay? Now I think it's fine. And let's see. Let's go back. See what happens, okay? It might not going to crank easily because since we drained the, the gas, you will get a hard time to restart. Okay. 